Hello and welcome back to my studio. This is Jim and uh, I'm glad you could join me for this uh, simple ink sketch today. I had quite a good response from um, the video I did that just had a, uh, a barn sketched in ink with no color so I thought um, I'd do uh, another one seeing, if, seeing that there was interest in that kind of a thing. This one's a touch longer than 10 minutes, but uh, still a short, easy sketch. Or I shouldn't say easy, it's a simple sketch. Just a simple old rundown farm. I'm assuming it could be on the prairies or some flat area, but um, I could be wrong. So I'm just following the, the shapes and the lines and uh, kind of shading in as I go just to uh, give the drawing form as, uh, as I do it. This farm is uh, obviously long abandoned and uh, one of the barns there is quite run down and losing quite a bit of its uh, roof and side. Whenever I see uh, buildings or farms like this that are uh, once uh, flourishing uh, enterprises always makes me wonder uh, what happened when the original uh, when the original people came here and, and uh, built the barns and uh, built the farm up from nothing It was a thriving, busy place, I'm sure. And then over time, something happened. Maybe the crops failed or people moved on and left just the buildings, which kind of deteriorated, uh, being uh, left unkept. It's, uh, it's sad, but um, I think these buildings have a, a story to tell, and they each have their own individual stories, I'm sure. The lights and darks in a drawing like this are, have a, a large role to play, so I'm making sure those uh, the darks inside the building are, are very dark and very pronounced, giving good contrast to everything else. It's also obvious that the light is coming from the right hand side, the sun is over there somewhere so I want to make sure I remember to put all the the dark sides of the buildings in to give it dimension and the old uh, windmill pumped water up from the well 
to be used by the uh, the farm. The blades of the windmill long long lost. Probably came down in a good storm or something. There are probably, uh, by the looks of it, there are probably shingles, wooden shingles on this building here, but I didn't want to add too much detail to uh, conflict with the, um, all the bits and pieces I've got going on in the bottom of the building. This is a small silo of some kind. And it's very important to get that upper curve going in the right direction. And the one lonely tree that's next to uh, next to the buildings. Kind of adds interest to the uh, the picture. A little bit more story. Hard to say how old the tree is, perhaps um, it was growing when the farm was a going concern, or perhaps it just grew up after the farm was abandoned. I like drawing trees, as long as you get the basic kind of idea and the shape and the direction of the branches, um, you can uh, you can kind of make up little bits of it. It's a natural kind of an object, so it has a life of its own and grows in all different directions so if you have a branch where one isn't or some leaves which aren't there it doesn't really matter I guess I could have made the tree a little bit more detailed but then it may have taken away from the uh, the building Again, making sure I got some, I have some nice shadows on there. And sometimes you don't even need buildings or anything else in a picture to make a, make a good uh, drawing. Just an old tree, a gnarled tree, will make a good sketch. I did one when I was uh, down in South Carolina, and uh, we were down at a nature reserve. I found this really cool tree, just a regular old tree, but it was growing all gnarly in different directions and uh, I just made a sketch of that and it was uh, one of my favorite sketches. Very simple, but sometimes the most simple sketches are the best. Especially if you're in the moment and you feel 
you feel everything around you. Now, although um, there is nothing but sky behind this farm in the in the photograph, I decided to add some mountains just for um, just for interest. Kind of gives uh, adds a little bit more to the picture, kind of a background. And of course the tree leaves need a little bit of shading just to, just to show those they're kind of uh, there and they're kind of solid and do have shadows as well. decided to come back in um, and make the side of the, this barn darker and the tree darker to match the uh, the darkness of the the other building with the dark interiors sometimes after you do a sketching well all the time after you do sketch or or painting it's good to have um, or take the time to to look at it, go away, come back and look at it again. And uh, this is when you see um, things like that. Anyway, thank you very much again for dropping by and um, I hope uh, to see you again. Take care.